The Army's modernizing how it manages war-winning talent to ensure the best outcome for the country in future conflicts. Battalion commanders exercise an outsized role in our performance overseas in combat operations. They are at the forefront of shaping and leading the Army in recruiting, training, and educating our soldiers in peacetime and combat operations. Battalion commanders play a huge role in the development, mentorship, and retention of our best soldiers. For many officers, Battalion Command is the very definition of career success. Battalion Commanders serve a critical role in the Army, and we're making efforts to ensure our best are selected for this tremendously important position. The Army has historically made promotion and selection decisions using a board to review and assign value to officers' evaluations of past performance. This past September, the Central Selection Board convened to review the files of more than 1,100 officers for battalion command. Each candidate's file consists of the officer record brief and all officer evaluation reports. Much of the information considered in this process relies strongly on the subjective evaluation of the senior raider. While the insights of the senior raider's perception of the rated officer are critical and will always remain so, the fact remains it is the only perspective used which ignores other relevant information on the officer. For such an important decision to be made in the selection of these officers that are leading the Army's future leaders, too much emphasis is placed on too little information. This comes down to one simple question. Is this the best way to pick battalion commanders? No. While the legacy system has been good enough in the past, a good enough process is no longer enough to determine and select the right battalion commanders to lead in the 21st century. We can and will do better. In June and July, the Army conducted the Battalion Commander Assessment Program Pilot. Participants included infantry and armor officers on the Battalion Command Primary and Alternate Centralized Selection List. The candidates were tested through a regimen of assessments beginning with the height weight test and Army physical fitness test. Candidates took two tests to determine their written communication skills. In addition, officers worked through a leader reaction course with their peers and conducted an interview with a psychologist trained in assessments and selections. Officers then took a series of cognitive and non-cognitive assessments which the Army has been using since 1993, measuring multiple forms of cognitive capability. The culminating event of the pilot was a blind panel interview. This technique derives from a practice used by symphonies around the world that reduces bias in hiring practices. Within Army context, introductory bias includes making an on-the-spot assessment regarding an officer, perhaps based on the combat patch they wear or whether they have a ranger tab. These may have nothing to do with the suitability of an officer for a position. In the blind panel interview, the panel members cannot see the officer, and the officer cannot see the panel members. Prior to the panel board interview of the candidate, a psychologist provided standardized insights to the panel members on the candidate's strengths and weaknesses. The panel members proceeded to ask a series of standardized behavioral-based questions to gain additional insights about the officer. Taking a holistic look at all the new data provided from this regimen of assessments, physical, cognitive, and non-cognitive assessments, insight from peers, subordinates, and psychologists, as well as personal observations of the candidate's performance during the interview, each panel member determined if the candidate is ready for command or not ready for command. The Battalion Commander Assessment Program pilot resulted in a significant reordering of the Order of Merit list. An after-action review of the pilot determined the results of assessments still did not provide the complete picture of the officer. The determination was made to include past performance as indicated by an officer's standing on the Centralized Selection List OML, as well as incorporate results of a verbal assessment. All seven panel members and 27 participants agreed that this was a better way to select battalion commanders, 
especially when combined with the results of a central selection board. The 816 officers recently notified represent the top 72% of those who chose to opt in for the Battalion Command Selection Board. Starting on 15 January 2020 and proceeding each day afterwards, cohorts of 48 candidates will arrive at Fort Knox, Kentucky and undergo a five-day assessment. All candidates will take a height weight test and an APFT for record, take a two-part writing assessment, take a series of cognitive and non-cognitive assessments, conduct an interview with a specially trained psychologist, participate in a blind panel interview. The panel would be comprised of one Army Major General, two Brigadier Generals, and two former Brigade Commanders. All panel members will be asked to identify any candidates they know to ensure they do not go before their panel. To best prepare, Candidates should arrive well-rested and in good physical condition. Candidates should brush up on their writing and verbal communication skills. Upon the culmination of this entire process, officers will be determined not to be ready for command or ready for command. Those not ready for command will not be on the primary or alternate command list. Most of these officers will be allowed to participate again in following years. Those ready for command a new order of merit list will be determined based on numerous factors. These factors include the officer's scores on the APFT, writing test, verbal test, cognitive, non-cognitive assessment, and manner of past performance. The largest single input will be the officer's manner of past performance as evidenced by their rank on the order of merit list from the Central Selection Board. The Battalion Commander Assessment Program illustrates the importance of combining more relevant information to help make better, more informed decisions. The Battalion Commander Assessment Program incorporates past performance as determined by senior raters, inputs from peers and subordinates, valid assessments, and insights gained through the panel interview. This comprehensive approach allows the Army to see each candidate more clearly reduces blind spots before making the important decision of selecting the candidate to serve in battalion command. The information we gather will be useful for many years to determine the war-winning talents we have within our key leaders. We are developing options to use a similar process to select sergeant majors and colonel level command positions. The battalion commander assessment program is a significant step forward in implementing a 21st century talent management system in support of the Chief of Staff of the Army's philosophy of putting people first. Army Talent Management. Talent wins. Winning matters.